in the last class, we stopped here. And I was discussing about the development of increasing development of saline soils in the country. And I told you that in 1973, it was at this point at blue lines here, and now we are standing at the and the highest peak here. So a huge area been uh, affected with salinity over this time. Um, So, what are the causes of this salinity intrusions or this salinity development in the inland, in the mainland. And the very first point, the, the situation comes to our mind, the tidal flooding during wet season. Tidal flooding, we know in the coastal belt, uh, tidal flooding occurs at different levels in, 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 in the wet season, the higher amount of saline water is intruding into the mainland and in the dry season, comparatively lesser. But tidal water, that is seawater, is flooding the land. The seawater is saline, that making our soil saline that is very straightforward and easy to understand. And this tidal flooding is affected with sea level rise. We know due to global warming, sea level is increasing over time, coming up. So more and more areas are being flooded with tidal water, saline water. So tidal flooding and sea level rise, these are very much linked and this is causing salinity. Then direct inundation by saline water. Salinity intrusion increased by 25% from 1973 to 2009. So this much salinity being increased in this period. Lateral or upward movement of saline groundwater by capillary action during the period of dry season when evaporation rate is high. And uh, we need to understand this point. Lateral or upward movement of saline groundwater. It could be lateral movement, that is horizontal movement, or upward movement, that is water coming coming up. We know usually water flows down, but under some condition, water could go up. How? Say your soil is, is, is somewhat saturated and during the dry season, winter, during winter, that is our dry season, during dry season, this water present in soil that, that is evaporated. When the water is evaporated, water is lost from the surface of the soil. Then as water is lost from the So 
so I forgot about recording the class. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. I've started recording. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I just forgot. So let's start from the beginning again, the causes of salinity. As I said, that tidal flooding during, during wet season, tidal flooding, that is sea water is, uh, is coming to the mainland. Saline water is flooding the land. So this is very easy to understand. It's straightforward that uh, if saline water from the sea comes to the uh, mainland that makes our soil saline. Then sea level rise due to global warming. And we know uh, due to climate change, global warming, sea level is rising, sea level is coming up over time. And due to increase of sea level, due to rise of sea level, the more and more area is get inundated, get flooded with saline water from the sea. And there are some speculations, some predictions that uh, at some point in the future, one third of the country will go under seawater. One third of Bangladesh, I mean. So that flood water uh, the saline flood water is making our soil saline. Direct inundation by saline water, that is also kind of uh, flooding of soil with saline water. And these salinity intrusion, or intrusion means uh, salinity, saline water, uh, mainland intrusion of the Pravesh Kora. So that is flooding the mainland and making our soil saline. And in from, uh, from 1973 to 2009, that is about 27 plus 9, so 36. In the last 36 years from 1973 to 2009, that was uh, the last survey on uh, saline area was done. So in that 36 years, 27% of more land has been inundated or has been affected with salinity. So you can understand how severe it is, how rapidly our, our fertile soils are becoming saline. Now that the fourth point is the movement of water. Normally we know water moves, moves down. But sometimes water could be going up. So here we are pointing out that lateral or upward movement of saline groundwater, but a capillary action. Capillary means very fine tubes. We know soil is porous. Amritani, the soil check the porous media. It has got plenty of pore spaces. It could be macro spore, it could be micro pore. Macro pore means bigger size pores. Micro pore means uh, my, uh, very small size pores. These micro pores sometimes form tube, kind of tube. And water moves through those tubes. It could be lateral or it could be, it could be horizontal or it could be upward. Upward, how, how it happens? Literal, we, we usually understand. Say, uh, someone is irrigating his land. When a land is irrigated, the land just beside that adjusts into that field. That is not irrigated, but sometimes we see that that soil is also wet. Water has gone there. How it has gone there? It has moved 
inside the soil. Water moves through inside the soil. So that is kind of lateral movement, or it could be upward movement coming up. How? Like, uh, as I uh, started, uh, soil has got pores, capillary tubes, small pores, and when but, uh, water is evaporated from the surface, then we see a gradient of water content in soil. Surface soil has got less amount of water and subsurface soil has got higher amount of water. So water moves from higher amount to lower amount. Water moves from from the subsurface layer to surface layer. That is upward movement of water. So this lateral and upward movement of saline groundwater in the coastal belt, the soil water is saline. And when that soil is dried, then water from, from, from the subsurface layer, that is saline water, is coming up. And that is evaporated. And when the water is evaporated, it is leaving behind the salts content in, the, in that water. So it is saline water. When saline water is evaporated, so water is gone, but salt is staying behind on the surface of the soil. That is why we see the salt layer on the surface of the soil. Is it clear? Have you got this point? how salt is accumulated on the surface of the soil. Is this point clear? Someone please write in the chat box. Yes, yes, okay, okay good, thank you. Okay, lateral movement. Lateral movement means soil uh, bhetore ek pashthe ke arik pashe jawa. Amra onik shomai dekhi je pasha pashi du tu soil. Ekta soil ke irrigate kora hoye chhe. Ekta soil ke irrigate kora hoye. Ek jom farmer tar jomi the pani diye chhe, shesh diye chhe. Ek jom farmer tar jomi the shesh dayni. So tar poro dakhe jay je farmer shesh dayni tar jomi ta bhi jagat chhe. मध्य प्रवेश कर अपवर्ड मूवमेंट होता है हम लोग बोलते हैं जब माटे के तोरे आशंक को पोर था के छोटे छोटे पोर को दूध दूध पोर तो पोर गुलो जो भी एक टार एक्टर साथे जॉइन करी देखा जब जो अनेक गुलो पोर मिलियन सपोर्ट्स एक्टर साथे आर एक्टर जॉइन जॉइन टा पे एक ट्यूब में तो बिहेव करे मन है जो माटे मध्य आशंक अखुन पानी वही पोर्ट दिए एक तो डिपर सोयल थे के सरफेस सोयल थे के चले आए सब सरफेस थे के सरफेस आए थे अखुन माटी भीतर जो पानी टा आए थे शे पानी टा उसे हमारे सलाइन जखुन ए ही पानी टा जखुन सरफेस सोयल चले आए थे तब इस सलाइन सोयल टे चले आए थे सरफेस से आशा पड़े क्यों होते सरफेस से आशा पड़े शे सोयल स अपन एक अच्छा सॉल्ट गुलो थे के जाए, शुद्ध पानी टच चला जाते हैं, है ना? वे पानी के तोरे जो सॉल्ट चलो, शे सॉल्ट अप मार्किंग ऊपर जो माह, इधर आस्ते आस्ते सरफेस सॉयले सेटेनिटी बढ़ते थके। This is how lateral and upward movement is making upward soil. That's a good question. Macro pore and micro pore both create capillary tube or only micro pore. Only micro pore. Capillary tubes means very fine tubes, especially the micro pores. Only the micro pores means this capillary tube. 
Okay, reduce water flow from the upstream of the major rivers. This is one of the major cause why salinity is increasing in Bangladesh. The reduced water flow from the upstream of the major rivers. We know Bangladesh is crisscrossed by hundreds of rivers. So all these rivers carrying water towards the Bay of Bengal. But the, the origin of all these major rivers, like origin of Pogda, origin of Jamuna, uh, Brahmaputra, their origin is in, is in India. What is uh, what India doing? They are diverting water by, by making artificial channels to their dry zone from these rivers, from these uh, international rivers. So during the dry season, they, they drive this water from these major rivers like Podda, Brahmaputra, towards their dry areas using artificial channels. And we are getting less and less and less water every year, especially during the dry season. But we are getting plenty during wet season that makes parts in our country. So, when the flow of water is reduced in the major rivers, so this flow of water and this uh, rivers contains or carry the water that is fresh water. And when the flow of this fresh water is reduced from the upstream, then the water from the, from the sea gets inland. To make it clear, I'm going to Bangla. So, one of the major river guru, Padda Brahmaputra Jamuna, so it is put this tall so India take a river gulu water carry code, Amade de Shu put the Bangu. That's a dry season. India has an artificial channel and channel to record a major river school to give water divert for me. After the day, Jesus stayed at the Harapurban area, she area gluti in the corner. Follow a river gulu ticket, push to put him on a funny mainstream ticket divert to another. Follow a river gulu. Water and the flow, she water flow to come in. Water flow to come in our for a key. A river will look on water carry for a shumu de nijai. So a water and the pressure pressure current is sea water are mainland the provision for the sea water. Say, say, press for a shumu de kachelaki into Jokun a nudiguru napota come jama deki the dry season yamadin beshibak nudiguru shuki. তখন কি হচ্ছে তখন এই পানির যে ফ্লো এই ফ্লোটা কমে যাচ্ছে প্রেসারটা কমে যাচ্ছে পানি প্রেসারটা যখন সমুদ্রের উপর কমে যাচ্ছে তখন সমুদ্র থেকে স্যালাইন ওয়াটার মেইনল্যান্ডের দিকে এই নদী দিয়ে প্রবেশ করে সো দ্যাট ইজ অলসো আই শুড সে দ্যাট ইজ দ্য মেজর কজ অফ ইনক্রিজিং স্যালাইনিটি ইন आवर কান্ট্রি সো দ্যাট ইজ দ্য ফিফথ পয়েন্ট reduced water flow from the upstream of the major rivers. So these are the causes of salinity. In our country. The first one is, first three are related to tidal flooding, then movement of water within the soil, lateral movement and upward movement, and finally, the water flow in the major rivers reduced during the dry season and causing uh, more salinity in our in our land. So these are the causes. Are these five points clear? Have you got these five points? Yes, that's it. That is international politics. 
India is violating the international law, the law of using international rivers. That is why we are affected. So this, these are the causes of salinity in our country. Now let's see reclamation. How we can correct this condition or how we can overcome this uh, problem in our country. Protection of land from tidal flooding. We need to protect our land from tidal flooding by construction of embankment around the sea coast. So if we can build embankment, but that will help us restricting flood water entering into, uh, uh, restricting tidal water entering into the mainland. That is how we can we can protect salinity in in, in, in in our country. Improved drainage system. If we can develop improved drainage system. To flush the soil with salt free water, that is fresh water, and drainage could be very effective. <coughs> so, say salinity develop, but if we can um, develop a very improved drainage system and we can flush, if we can flush this saline soil with fresh water, that could help us removing salinity. But that is very difficult because. You know, these areas are quite uh, close to the sea. So sea level and the soil level, soil surface are almost at, are at the same level. So drainage is a very, very a big problem there. Heavy irrigation by salt free water. If we can irrigate the land with salt free water, but salt free water is a major constraint here. <coughs> So that's that, that's the solution, but it is very difficult to arrange uh, salt-free water in those areas. Use of blue-green algae. Blue-green algae they they use sodium for their nutrition. So if we can use blue-green algae their growth in the in the saline areas, that will. Uh, use sodium for their nutrition and the salinity will be reduced. And that's a good point. Construction of embankment is too expensive. Yes, it is very expensive. It is very expensive, but as it is a major problem in our country, so we need to we need to make some money for that. And you know, in these days we are making very ambitious projects. That will be also a very ambitious project. And someone said, if you build embankment to the river or sea, is it hamper the natural flow of river or seawater? We we want to control the entrance of seawater into our mainland. But will not be affecting the uh, 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 the flow of river. So we, we we need to design it in that way so that the flow of river is not affected. Deep plowing may be used to break plow pen so that downward movement of salt water is facilitated. So. Uh, if we can make the plow, uh, if we can if we can break the plow pen, then uh, we can facilitate the uh, downward movement of salt water by flushing the soil with fresh water. Application of gypsum is sometimes helpful to control the salinity of soil. And this is a research findings. 
Artificial gypsum could help to reduce the effect of salinity. The retardation of evaporation is an effective measure to control the salinity of soil. As I said, that the seawater or saline water is in the soil in the coastal belt, and when that water is evaporated, leaving the salt behind on the on the top of the soil that makes salinity. So if we can control the evaporation, <coughs> if we can check the evaporation rate, then that will control salinity as well. Because evaporation rate is controlled, so water, saline water is not coming up anymore, that will, that will control salinity. And uh, there are some research findings says uh, if we can if you use polythene mulches in the saline areas for growing maize or other crops, uh, maize crop didn't, didn't suffer any salinity problem uh, when uh, the evaporation was checked by using mulches. And the number eight point uh, uh, eight. Eighth point that is use of salt tolerant crops. That is very important. That is what we can easily do. Use of salt tolerant crops helps to control the salinity of soil. We have got currently we have got a number of salt tolerant rice, rice varieties. We can use all those salt tolerant rice varieties or salt tolerant maize varieties, wheat varieties. So all these salt tolerant crops the point is how does gypsum help in controlling salinity problem? Gypsum, yes. That is application of gypsum. You know gypsum that is calcium sulfate. In, in saline soil, then key of sodium chloride is there. But when we are using calcium sulfate, that is, uh, calcium is uh, is getting absorbed from the surface of the soil, and sodium is is taken away from the extent side. So calcium is competing with with sodium. That is how that helps. Okay, I was talking about the salt tolerant varieties. We have got a good number of salt tolerant varieties from Brie, from other Rice Institute, and from Bina. No need to raise hand. You just uh, put your comment on the chat box if you have any 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 comment for me. Labonatta shon shil jat chashir malthume kothi hundred percent put to shampo. Yes. We can we can grow all these crops. But there are some other problems as well. When I visited there, I, I, I had a chance to visit saline affected areas. Uh, like uh, people living in that areas. যেহেতু ওই সময়টা তাদের সয়েলটা খুব বেশি আগ্রহ থাকে না তাও কাজ করতে চায় না ফলে আমরা দেখেছি যে বিভিন্ন রিসার্চ ইনস্টিটিউট তারা তাদের রিসার্চ প্রজেক্ট সেখানে সে এলাকায় নিয়ে গিয়েছে তারা ফার্মার দেখে দেখিয়েছে যে এই সমস্ত ভ্যারাইটি এরকম অনেকগুলো ক্রপ আছে অনেকগুলো তাদের জাত আছে যেগুলো ড্রাই পিরিয়ড 
try period in the Bishal uh, area, Bishal and built it, uh, hectares of land. The salinity tolerant variety copper variety practice a month. Soil and salinity combina. Soil and the abostashi take into a jat guru de salinity tolerant, salinity tolerant, and a jat guru oi abostati, soil and oi abostati grow good department. How can we control evaporation rate since it's a natural process? Rapulan is evaporation. It's, it's okay. The operation act a natural process. I'm not going to pull on the soil or for a polythene sheet, polythene day, polythene mulching for it, or even straw mulching for it. Hale eta evaporation rate take, though it is a natural process, can the air rate take a shake only the polythene delay absolutely that our evaporation can have an account. Polythene guy action with the village of Pani Jumbe. Our different temperature for the weight of the material. So, this is how polythene mulching works, and uh, we, can, we can control evaporation to some extent. Selection of appropriate cropping pattern. Appropriate cropping pattern means some Brahma did pay a lake, J. Crop Bulu for the Jay, she looked at the key for the shadow. Probability J. Saline belt A. Where's season A problem for Bishina? Where is an approach to put him an bullet in major rivers, bullet to put him in a water packet, she water fresh water, fall a fresh water flowing high, fall a she can take sanity double of corona. So, wet season is okay into dry season a problem. So, wet season amra jacono crop put the pretty, wet season especially rice chicken amber put the pretty, and dry season amother. Uh, salinity tolerant variety guru niye jete hobe pole amra shikhte salinity control korte pari sodium and calcium competition amra bolchi je jokhon amra gypsum fertilizer jomite debo gypsum fertilizer jokhon i haven't understood how to green algae helps okay amra gypsum er kotha bolchi je gypsum uh, it's a calcium uh, calcium sulfate gypsum. So gypsum over the cheap to put a calcium sulfate, calcium ion number to add coach. Calcium ion, sodium ion is a compete with the sodium is the negative effect. Shetaki kumi then. Calcium amatrojani data plant nutrient. Sodium to the plant nutrient, no? calcium plant nutrient. But the plant uh, uh, cation uptake correct. Sodium calcium with the competition high calcium get into the into the plant. That is how uh, plant is uh, plant are sodium with the negative impact and to some extent say avoid sodium and negative impact I haven't understood how blue green algae and blue green algae got number bullet CG. This is how to stand up Blue green algae, for example, the blue green algae, it are it are laboratory study that they get the blue green algae that the nutrition is no sodium use correct. So sodium chloride is soil and the put to in an ate to saline built to the umbra blue green algae produce production put the body and blue green algae add follow the after death that will add organic matter of blue green algae. The nutrition is sodium use for the tale. Looking at the both is carbon, so the amid the negative impact can be camera. Shape negative impact on the effort. Okay, so these are the proclamations uh, processes for certain stuff. There are two terms go side by side, saline soil, alkali soil. Some soils are saline, some soils are alkaline. So, 
what are the problems? Uh, what are the uh, differences between these two? The saline soils are dominated by neutral soluble salts consisting of chlorides and sulfates of sodium, calcium, and magnesium. Saline soil is mainly sodium. To some, uh, to some extent, we have uh, calcium and magnesium as well. The chlorides and sulfates are present. So this is uh, neutral soluble salts. But in case of alkali soil, in alkali soil, appreciable quantities of neutral soluble salts generally absent. Neutral soluble salt is there, but alkali it's not. The major salt is sodium carbonate. Sodium, but that is sodium carbonate present there. If we think about EC, EC is four or more in saline soil or less than four in alkali soil. pH, we know pH is less than 8.2 in saline soil. But alkali soil that is, that is highly alkaline, uh, it has got pH of 8.2. ESP, exchangeable sodium percentage, that is less than 15 for saline soil more than 15 for alkaline soil. In case of saline soil, white crust is formed. White crust, that salt is white, that white crust falls into alkali soil, sodium carbonated layer to each other, that is black in color. So black crust is formed on the alkaline soil. Sometimes that is called black alkali soil. <coughs> saline soil is called white alkali and black, uh, alkaline soil is called black alkali soil. So this is all about our uh, causes of salinity and their relations. Salinity is yeah. If you have any question regarding Saline soils, its causes and reclamations. Please write in the chat box if you have any 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 question on the discussion I have so far. What is EC and what is ESP? Potential is sulfate soil. I'm going to say for a bulb on right? details, bulb acid sulfate soil, peat soil, and I'm going to detail something. EC and ESP. I'm going to say class here. What is EC? EC is electrical conductivity. That is the transfer of electricity, how fast the transfer of electricity occurs in, in soil due to presence of salts to the soil. That is EC. EC unit would say Desi Siemens per meter. But ESP would say exchangeable sodium percentage. And exchangeable sodium percentage, I'm going to say, the exchangeable sodium percentage would say Actor soil is with the Jepuriman cation take a photo person sodium. Say actor soil, Jodi Akshota cation take cation to her take colloidal components take look, clay particle, clay particular guy, negative terse take, say negative terse. Negative charge take a negative charge satisfied for general positive charge ion cache for it. Akon Akshutar Mudde, Kotota sodium they saturated. Shade is with that ESP. Exchangeable sodium percentage. Thorough Akshutar Katam, Akta Silent and Nidhi Shopurna Silent Mudde Ache, Tarmut Jodi, Dosta Tumar sodium, Taka sodium and Taka Baki. No, we don't say 
other cations like calcium, magnesium, aluminium, others. Others, this soil is the Reclamation air cropping pattern. Uh, Our cropping pattern is the cropping pattern. Cropping pattern is growing different crops throughout the year in a in a particular land. pattern we select based on the salinity tolerant using salinity tolerant varieties. I'm going to say that I'm going to say wet season I'm going to problem nine. So wet season I'm going to we can go for tea and rice. That is fine. In the dry season I get more the major problem. Dry season I have a problem. There are many problems in those areas. Like I'm going to say soil below. Say a shumai. November March. November March I'm going to say that I'm going to say मामे <laughs> डिसेम्बर चले so, if we are in November, we have to quit in the saline belt. We have to quit in the December. We have to quit in the soil. We have to quit in the soil. We have to quit in the dry land. We have to quit in the mustard. We have to quit in will be very difficult there. In November, we have to quit in the mustard. So, we have to quit in the Tumar soil ready hobe kobe, kum tumar ready hobe. By that time, tumar salinity level ki salinity level jodi high hoye thake, thale shikhte salinity tolerant crop tumi niye jabe. Ei shomosto kichhu gulu, shomosto kichhu gulu matai niye amar cropping pattern develop korte hobe. Example jodi amra bolli, the first amon tiamon season amra tiamon kulla. তারপরে সয়েল যখন সেখানে ড্রাই হলো আর যদি স্যালিনিটি খুব বেশি না থাকে সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমরা ডিসেম্বরের দিকে ডিসেম্বরে সয়েল ড্রাই হওয়া শুরু করে তখনই স্যালিনিটি বিল্ড আপও শুরু হয় কিন্তু ওই সময়ে আমাদেরকে ডিসেম্বরের দিকে আমরা সানফ্লাওয়ার করতে পারি বা তোমার হুইট করতে পারি ঠিক আছে তাহলে কপিং প্যাটার্নটা আমার ওইভাবে শুনতে হবে যে Wet season is our normal crop, TMO crop. Dry season is our salinity tolerant crop. Even not only crop, crop we crop it the salinity tolerant variety. Gulu ase she variety gulu amade consideration niya. Okay. Well, the next problem soil is peat soil. Ambrajani peat is organic soil. Peat soils are soils that have got very high amount of organic matter. This is the soil organic matter put in on English, more than 20%. Other camera organic soil. Other less than 20%. Other camera bully mineral soil. Organic soil 
Flerak da example is a bit sale, it be bit sale, not sale, this is organic soils. Mineral soils and all the soils have got less than less than 20% organic matter. So the umbra first year in the CJ soil in Monte are organic matter percentage with 5%, mineral matter 45%, and waste 50% air and water. Organic matter at the Beshi of the party, twenty per cent, even at the Beshi of the party. This soil with organic matter put him on one egg Beshi, other camera, organic soil, but pit soil bully. Under bully a standard condition, the organic matter soil with the data dogger should have five per cent. If they can arrow Beshi, twenty, twenty, more than twenty per cent. A little Beshi of an organic matter, organic matter, this is very good for soil. Under bully organic matter is the life of soil. The organic matter is often about who basic hyponactive domain, the Kunshe Jumita, Tasha Poly. You know, he soiled the umbra problem soils. Organic matter, the Yoku Halo, another domain domain, into it as a who basic polyman attacking, uh, area, 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 soil, area. Uh, mark soil, soil, mark soil, that is also a uh, problem soil. Organic soils are, are problem soils. Mark soil, peat or mark, which is uh, very close. It is based on their uh, decomposition of organic matter, decomposition status of organic matter. At the soil level, the organic matter uh, highly decomposed, the shed can be a soil, but less decomposed, the shed can be a mark soil. In the two two problems, sir. Our a problem, a pit soil, you know, mainly, mainly present in the, in the low lying areas in the country. How works, bills, how are they, uh, how are like a bill, like a good thing, mainly a uh, organic soil developer, you know, I'm going to go to the school, not this area, sir. This is pit soil. This area here. My global control appeals. A area the under pit soil. Ache. Ekhane select area. Even this area, we have got pit soil, hours, chalon bin. This area will be under the shell. Pit soil will be So these are the pit soils in the country. Pit soil that we are open for our picture better than that. The profile of a pit pit soil. We are under normal soil, mineral soil profile. We are under the shell. Let's see. Pit soil profile that I come that way. Surface thick of the gobi ponds that she should do organic matter. It can a mineral matter cook all for polymanas. That is at least more than 20%. So, huge amount of organic matter is there. Only organic matter. What are the problems? Organic matter may occupy us to. Up to 80 percent, 80 centimeter depth. Surface take 80 centimeter depth for the profile of the surface to up to 80 centimeter. The full is the deposition of organic matter. Amra eta mineral soil type se modhu dekhechi. It could be in different layers. Now hote pare the surface se organic layer and mineral mineral soil layer. Are for our organic layer. We can layer it like the forever continuously should do organic material layer. Under which condition this soil is neutral but upon drying, it becomes acidic. We know organic matter take a little thorn in organic acids. There could be a negative impact on the soil that is wet and of the condition. Dry high, upon a soil turn. Acidic, the measure for it, that will be acidic. Agricultural potentiality 
is low due to deep flooding, wetness, or bullets. This area, these soils are developed especially in the low lying areas in the hours and hills. Kale A area they uh normally flooding point. ভেরি <laughs> যায় ফলে এর বেয়ারিং ক্যাপাসিটি ভেরি লো এখানে কোন বড় কোন গাছ এখানে জন্মাতে পারে না ধরে রাখতে পারে না গাছকে ধরে রাখতে পারে না কপার আয়রন বোরন ম্যাঙ্গানিজ মলিপিয়ানাম হ্যাভ বিন শোন টু বি ডেফিসিয়েন্ট ইন অর্গানিক সয়েলস ফর মেনি ক্রপস তো অর্গানিক এই সয়েলটার দেখ মিনারেল ম্যাটার কম স্পেশালি মেইনলি দা অর্গানিক ম্যাটার ইজ देयर যার ফলে এখানে কিছু কিছু মাইক্রো নিউট্রিয়েন্ট লাইক কপার আয়রন বোরন ম্যাঙ্গানিজ ওকে <laughs> থ্যাংক ইউ সুমন থ্যাংক ইউ